Okay, we're in a, at a roof in DPU. We got a couple of issues. Um, so the roof, the shingles are laying down, but there's a lot of granules that are off the shingles. My guess is they're probably, I'm guessing 25 years old. They look like they're Owens Corning shingles, but surprisingly, well, yeah, they are. I believe they're Owens Corning shingles. Uh, there's no underlayment under this, under these shingles at all. So there is no felt, no ice shield, nothing underneath these shingles. Uh, this this seam right here is an inch and a half from the rain groove, so water's coming in up above that seam into the decking. If you look at the bottom of the soffit, you can see you can see the rustiness from water's been coming in uh, on the overhang. Okay, so yeah, that's just not right. So that's an issue. The shingles are laying down flat. They're not curled up, but the granules are gone. So it's just, it's just on borrowed time right now. So I'm gonna go up on the roof and see a couple, see if the, what the upper looks like and try to stay off the ice patches. But it is one layer. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna have to be stripped because it doesn't have an ice shield system or an underlayment on it right now. So it's too bad because we could have saved a big expense. Also, the uh, the gutters are going to have to be replaced with the roof because the gutters are on top of the drip edge instead of under the drip edge. So when we go to tear the drip edge off, <clears throat> the gutters are going to come down with it. Plus, the spikes are pulling out and none of them are pitched right. So, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, uh, up on the roof, we got there are some blow offs. We got a blow off here where water's coming in underneath the shingles. We got some nail pops. You can see the nails sticking up off of the roof. Somebody did some face nails on this siding, or face screws, and tried to tar the the chimney saddle to the siding, so that's not good. So we gotta address that. <clears throat> the front roof looks actually older than the back. It looks like somebody might have done something at a different period of time on the back. So I guess I gotta find that out because you can see the difference in color. See how dark this is and how light this is. But if they didn't address that bottom edge, it's all for naught. So I, I would be under the assumption that this customer, this deli shot running through here, I can see they tarred it a couple of times. And so what I'm guessing is we're looking at minimum from that corner around to that corner there. Looks like this back is newer, maybe by about three or four years. So, <clears throat> we got a pipe boot here. We got all sorts of shingle damage over here on this side here. Pipe boot, pipe boot. And there is not enough ventilation in this roof, so provided she's got some insulation in here, that would be, uh... <clears throat> so you got a power vent. And if we can get the natural airflow, the power vents, we recommend just omitting it completely because it's fruitless. When it starts to dry air, when that comes on, air goes by path of least resistance and it just pulls air from the other roof vents. Sometimes causing leaks in the roof too. So They got a, uh, this ain't good. Their electrical pole, it, it looks like it's snapped. It's rusted out at the roof. It, it, either if we can come back with a turnbuckle to maybe tie into the uh, wall stud of the chimney um, we might be able to straighten it out if it isn't in too bad a shape. But that is something that should be looked at. <clears throat> but yeah, these gutters are... It looks like we might have done... These are all spike and furl. And it looks like we might have done the gutter on this side of the house. Here, because I see our... I see hidden brackets in here. But also looks like the ice had done some damage to it. No, these are not our hidden brackets. These are somebody else's hidden brackets. Oh, somebody did that. Those aren't ours. The, if you look at this bottom roof edge, it actually swales up, it flattens right out at that bottom. You see how wet it is where, where the rain grooves meet? See all them spots where the water goes right down and then it fans out to each side of the rain groove? What's happening is the water isn't getting off the roof, it's going sideways there, and it just sits there and migrates, and you, go, you can go down there and see the, uh, the water coming in underneath the roofing. So, 
So there's a couple things that got to be addressed here. We got chimney flashings, pipe boots. Confirm whether it's got to do the, the the majority of the house. This back can possibly buy some time on, but not a whole lot. If they don't have the underlayment, if they got the underlayment, then I'm gonna actually I'm gonna go down there and move that ladder over and check on this. And maybe I can retract that statement. Okay, in the words of the NFL referee, after further review, there is a, there is an ice shield and underlayment on this section here. So this probably this might be this might not be that old. It's hard to tell. There are a lot of there isn't anywhere near as much granules off on this section as there is on that. So maybe this is only five or six years old. I don't know why they put all those holes in them for your satellite dish, but we'll check all that too. So. Uh, you see where the, the galvanized flashing meets and the siding, the vinyl siding stops? Well, there's a big gap in there, so we want to make sure we got that flash so nothing, any water that can get behind this flashing, you know, up against that wall is a, is a, is a problem. See right where the corner post meets the flashing, too, that siding's ran short, so when this all gets stripped off, we take the bottom flashing on this and it'll be redone the right way. So, just a little thing. Good God, it was a big problem.